bum ba da da bum Welcome, welcome. I'm the Pill Guru, your certified pill sommelier. Today we'll be reviewing a mystery bottle. I was recently at my Gam Gam's wake, and while she didn't leave me her pearls, I did discover her medicine cabinet full of vintage 2010 pills. Don't be embarrassed if you have trouble opening a childproof cap. It only looks easy because I am a professional. It takes years of training to open it without friction. A big mistake that I see people do all the time is they'll immediately swallow their pill. Here's the thing, you need to let it breathe for a few seconds to get that full body flavor. I'm getting notes of acetaminophene, moxicillin, and vitamin D. All right, bottoms up. So the first thing I get is a medium bitterant. Uh, followed by a dry mouth, drowsiness, insomnia, and a hint of dermatitis. Let's go ahead and try another sample. This is definitely a 35 milligram dosage. The weight, the texture, the mouth feel. You know, the crispness of the gelatin tells me this was manufactured at a latitude about 42 degrees north of the equator, and it was aged in a pharmacy anywhere from three to six weeks. Now I'm gonna take the medication with some water. You know, the more water you add, the more the taste dilutes. And you don't need to worry at first about this. Use as much water as you need. As you do this, you'll be able to use less and less. I'm really noticing that the water in my mouth has been trying to get really vibrant, and I'm trying to catch it on the tongue. Well, that is today's demonstration. Just remember, when you go to build out your own medicine cabinet, you don't need pharmacy top grade. All you need to get started is bottom shelf, generic meds, and a chronic illness. This is the Pill Guru. Until next time, swallow safely. Pill Guru, a bum bum. Ba da da bum, Pill Guru, ah ba da ba.